Hi everyone, this is Virendra. Let's talk about another problem today, which is called longest substring with m unique characters. So the problem statement is, find the longest substring with m unique characters in a given string. So if you have an input string like Karappa, and you want to find out longest substring with two unique characters, the output is APPA. So it has two unique characters and it is the longest substring. How about three unique characters? The longest substring with three unique characters is A R A P P. Okay. I would suggest you that you should pause the video right now and try to solve the problem yourself before continuing with this video. You can always come back to this video and continue and try to understand the solution. But it is best that you try it yourself first. Now let's go ahead to the algorithm insights. Let's consider this problem where we want to find out longest substring with m equal to two unique characters. And the given string is Karappa. I've split that string into different characters, K, A, R, A, P, P, A. This is the character array. What we are going to do is we are going to maintain a hash map where we track the number of unique characters as we go along the input string. And the hash map will contain the character and the corresponding count to the character in the substring that we are looking at. We'll also maintain a few other variables. The first one will be a pointer which we use to traverse the character array. Another important thing is we are going to use a window based approach to traverse through the character array and find out the longest substring with m unique characters. So to maintain that window, we are going to use two variables start and end, which will give us the longest substring with m unique characters. And we are going to also track the window size using this variable, which is basically n minus star plus one. We are also go going to maintain the longest substring that we find till now. Till now is basically till the pointer has traversed along the array so that we don't lose it out. Okay. So let's start traversing the character array. So we are at the first character. We have also moved the start and the end to the first character. Here the window size is one and the largest substring till now is K, right? We are going to uh, update K into the hash map. The number of characters here for K is K equal to one, right? So that's what we update in the hash map. The number of unique characters at this point is one, which is less than the number of unique characters required, which is two, m equal to two, right? So to find a larger substring, we move forward, we move our pointer forward. As soon as we move the pointer, we update the hash map with the new character and we move the end of the window. Now we have number of unique characters two, uh, larger substring with two unique characters and window size is two. So we update the longest substring till now, which is KA, right? Now again, we move forward to find out if we can get a larger substring with two unique characters. So we go to R, we update the hash map. We move ahead the end pointer. We get a window size of three, but the number of unique characters is three, right? Which is greater than M. So we do not update the longest substring because till now the longest substring with two unique characters is still KA. Okay. At this point, when the number of unique characters is three and greater than the number of unique characters required, which is two, what we are going to do is we are going to move ahead the start pointer. Okay. Once we move ahead the start pointer, since we are removing it from the window, we remove it from the hash map. Okay. The number of characters K in the hash map are zero, right? So we update accordingly. Now we move ahead the pointer that we are using to traverse the array. We move ahead to A, we update the hash map accordingly. And then we move ahead the end pointer. We get a window size of three and number of unique characters two less than or equal to M, which is two, right? Now we have found a longer substring with two unique characters. So we update the longest substring till now with A R A. Let's move forward to P. We update P in the hash map. We update the end pointer. But the number of unique characters now becomes three and the window size becomes four. Even though window size becomes four, the number of unique characters is three, which is greater than M. We do not update this longest substring till now variable. We just keep it as ARA so that we don't lose it out. Okay. So now in this case where we have three greater than M, what do we do? We update the start pointer, right? We move the start pointer ahead. And as soon as we move the start pointer ahead, we update the hash map as well. Earlier hash map had two A characters. Now it has one, right? Still, we have number of unique characters three greater than M. In that case, we have to move the start pointer. Now we satisfy the criteria. 
as soon as we satisfy the criteria we move forward in the array let's move forward to p we update the hash map we move the end pointer window size is 3 number of unique characters is 2 we already have a substring with size 3 so we don't update it it's okay if we output app or ara they are both of two unique characters right so we don't update it we move forward to a and what we see is we get a window size of 4 and number of unique characters 2 less than or equal to m which is 2 so we have found a longer substring which is appa greater than ara right so we update appa here that is the output of our algorithm okay let's quickly look at the code here we have all the variables that i described before we have start and which basically a win which is basically a window which we are moving over the character array we have window size which is the largest window size we have we have found till now and window start of the largest substring that we have found till now so basically these two variables will help us find out the longest substring that we have found across the character array okay so initially what is the uh, loop here i is the pointer the green arrow that i had shown earlier so the i pointer moves character by character puts into the hash map and updates the count account accordingly as soon as we put into the hash map we move the end pointer basically we are increasing the window and if we see if in that window the number of characters is more than m if the number of characters is more than m we are going to move the start pointer and we are also going to update the hash accordingly then we see if the window the current window that we are looking at is greater than the window windows or the strings that we have looked at substrings that we have looked at till now if that is the case we update the window size and the window start we are basically updating the longest substring we, that we have found till now which is containing number of unique characters less than or equal to m so finally we'll have the substring that we are interested in in these two variables and that's what we will return thank you for watching the video please let me know if you have any doubts or comments below in the video please do check out our website at www.idesav.co.in we have a bunch of articles there close to 200 they they contain a lot of algorithmic questions and questions that can appear in the interviews please do check out those articles and let us know your comments we are also trying hard to put more and more videos onto our channel please stay tuned on that also if you are interested in contributing please email us at idesav.co.in at gmail.com thank you